Hello everyone, today I want to show you how to use every single Akaso EK7000 action camera accessory. I will also show you how to use every single accessory in the accessories bundle. And if you don't know what this is, if you purchase an Akaso EK7000 action camera, um, you can basically just share to the company that if you left a review and they will give you um, some more accessories a battery and a charger or a micro SD card so I will be showing you how to use the accessories bundle too okay I'm gonna start off with the waterproof case this waterproof case um, is like waterproof up to 98 feet I think and how to use it it's pretty basic um, you're going to get your camera and just put that in there and uh, then you're gonna close the back hatch and then the trick to closing it is, uh, you see this little nub piece on the side there? You're going to hook that onto the back and then close it. And yeah, that's your waterproof case. And all these buttons on the side just connect to the buttons um, on the inside of the camera. Yeah, that is how you use the waterproof casing. Next up, I'll show you how to use one of the standard attachments which you can make to put onto the waterproof casing. Using this is extremely easy. So all you have to do is put, um, put the, you see there's two nubs on the waterproof casing and three on here. You are going to put them inside of each other just like that. And then to keep it from falling out, you are gonna put one of these pins through it. And you might have to just move it around a little. And then you're just going to twist it. And there you go. Now you can put your camera in it. And you can also attach it to other accessories, which I'll be showing later. Um, and this attachment just goes like like that. And uh, this could have been like a head, head mount or something. So you can attach this to lots of stuff. So this is a very useful piece to have. Next up, we have these three very useful pieces. And what these are, they're, they can be used just for, like, extensions. So you can, uh, if you're going to attach it onto, like, a wall or something, I don't know, you can make them stick out further. But also, um, let me take these out of the bags. Okay, also, um, you can use them to change directions. So you can have them, like, uh, like this. So you're going to do the same thing, if I can get these together, the same thing that you did with the waterproof casing in the other piece, you're going to put these two together, just like that, um, if I can. Um, oh yeah, while I'm trying to do this, um, when I purchase this, you can, uh, yeah, this is actually one of them, you can see that um, this is like a little bent, so you can't really put this in, and it's extremely hard put that in so ugh. uh I'm gonna come back when it's ready <laughs> okay finally here we go um so going on this can make it so if you have it mounted like th um like this and you want it to the side it's basically just like an extender and can switch sides so you can put this thing put the waterproof case on right here and then mount it right here and then the camera will be um, pointing to the side instead of like forward or backwards so that's what those three pieces are for, and I couldn't get the other two pieces to fit together, which is kind of annoying, but moving along. Okay, next up are these straps. Uh, I guess they're not really attachments, but um, all they do is you can put these through the little sling mounts on those, which I will explain later, and you can like wrap them around a pole or something. I don't know. They're basically just normal buckle straps. Nothing really interesting about them, but might as well just include them. Okay, next up are these two things. Um, these two things are a little different attachments than the other ones because you can see that um, this is not the same attachment as the other, like the other ones. And, uh, I still could not figure out how to use this for a long time, but then I realized that with this piece, um, um, just saying this also has a tripod mount on it, so you can attach, 
um, this to a tripod and then put your camera on it, which is pretty nice. But um, what the other piece is for is clamping onto the back here. So you're just going to put that on just like that and wait until it snaps. <sighs> oh, uh, I think I did that the wrong way. Yeah. Um, and then just like that, now you can put your camera in just like this. And, and then you can clip onto things. So you can even put it on your shirt or something. So you can have the camera facing out like that. So this is a very useful attachment. Um, this is another case. Like I said, there's tripod mounts on both sides. Um, and also, it's not waterproof, but it's pretty neat that you can add this clip onto the back so you can clip it onto stuff. So yeah, that's what that is for. Next up is this, and this isn't really an attachment, it's just a spare back door to the waterproof casing. Um, like you can see, in the waterproof casing, um, there is this door, and if you, like, break this off or something, because you can see that that's just, like, a rod going through there, if you break this off, then luckily they have a replacement that comes with the camera. So that is extremely nice, uh, this hasn't really, like, had any problems with it so far, so far. So, I don't know if I'll be needing this, but if somehow I do break it or really scratch it or something, we can just swap it out with that. So, that is really nice. Okay, next up is this piece. And this is the same as the other piece that went on to the um, waterproof casing, except it extends a little bit more, so you can tilt it in more directions. So, uh, I'm not really sure why you wouldn't want this, but I don't know, it includes that too, so <laughs> the more the better. Okay, sorry, I forgot to include this. Um, this basically, when you have it on the um, casing or something, this goes up here, and it basically prevents it from sliding out. It's actually extremely hard to slide out, but if somehow it did, this would prevent it. Um, so you put this on, like, the bottom here, and then you would put this through the loophole, and or through the pin, and even if it does fall out, this will hold it, so... Pretty nice. Next up is this very handy bicycle um, handlebar mount, or if you just want to like mount it on a pole or something. Um, so how this works is you're going to unscrew these two pins, and uh, let's say like my fingers were the um, bicycle mount, you're gonna um, put it on the handlebars of the bicycle, and then you're just gonna tighten these. And this is getting tighter on my fingers, but if that was like um, a bicycle mount, then this is like, that fits onto the bicycle mount, uh, onto the handlebars, and then this is a mount to attach, like, the waterproof casing or something. So that's what this is for. This is extremely useful, and I've found it, like, useful for many things other than just handlebar mounts. Next up, these are, um, another, basically just another version of the tripod mount, and same with this one. So that's what those pieces are for, pretty simple. Next up we have this remote, and this can just um, attach onto your wrist, and you can start and stop videos, and you can take pictures on it. And this has a distance of advertised on the box up to 33 feet, and that seems pretty like self-explanatory self because it is just a little remote. But, um, that's pretty cool that they added this, and I think this still comes with a lot of accessories and is definitely worth it. But moving along, get some nice tactical zip ties here, uh, nothing really special. And this is one of those mounts that you can slide on the pieces that go onto the, um, waterproof casing. And these are actually sticky, so you can stick them onto stuff, and this particular one you can put on a tripod. And, um, also... J just saying, this does come with two of them. One has the tripod mount, like this one, and then one that doesn't. Uh, I'm just currently using the other one for something else. Um, but it does include two of these. Um, this is extra sticky pad, so if, like, um, on the last thing, if that, like, gets unsticky because you've stuck it on so much stuff, then you can, uh, just take one of these and just put it on. And this is a cleaner for cleaning the camera. And then this is just some sort of tie, so if you're attaching this onto, like, a drone or something, 
um, you can attach this onto one of the pins and this onto the drone. So if the camera does fall off, it will just be dangling and it doesn't fall like 100 feet and break. Okay, that is all that's included with the normal Acaso EK7000 action camera. But next up, I'll be showing you the free gift that you get from writing a review. All the accessories that you get from that. Okay, this is an easy to use um, floatable handle. So you can hold on to it. It's floatable, obviously. Um, it comes with a pin. So you can put your waterproof casing on, put the pin in, and then you have a floatable handle. And then this is just something that goes onto your wrist so you don't drop it. Okay, this is um, a little bit different than all the other stuff. This is a body strap. So um, you're going to put this like around you, kind of like a backpack. And then it has one of these attachments on them. So again, like with the waterproof casing, you can slide those on. You can slide the different attachments on. So that's pretty neat. Okay, and then there's the same exact thing, but for your head. And you don't actually have to attach the other things on because it has one built into it. It also comes with a nice bag that uh, is just pull string, so you can put your camera in it. And also comes with an extra battery charger. Not an extra battery, but just a charger. So, yeah, I guess that's okay. The last accessory is actually pretty neat. And um, this is a suction cup mount. So you can suction cup this onto a window, and this is also included with it. Then you're, it's also a tripod mount, so double. Um, and you're just going to screw this on, and then you can attach this onto a window by pulling up this lever, um, suction cupping it on, and then closing it, and you can tilt this in all different directions if you unscrew this, you can move like that, um, and then if you, uh, then if you unscrew this, you can tilt it like that. Um, that is the last accessory that I'm going to be showing you guys today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and maybe subscribe. Um, yeah, I might be doing some more videos for the Acaso EK7000 action camera in the future. But that's all I have for you guys today.